I'm back. Hi. Hi. Yay. Okay, cool. We're going to go to the kitchen now and we're going to make some, um, we're going to make some deep fries. Hey, why? Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just, let's just shut the door because no one wants to see into, into what's in there. And, um, let's just, uh, and, uh, and, uh, Get the little tripod going. Yeah, it's all very high tech here in, in my in the cooking kitchen in my segment. Okay. Um, yeah, the kitchen set. That's right. B boobs. <laughs> Hilarious. Let me just put that on so I can see the see that the levels are okay. Right, so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making some um, deep fried camembert, and also we're gonna look at some um, some mocktails. And actually, I've got a bit of a thirst, so why don't we do some mocktails first? Because the oil's gonna have to heat up. So this is my trusty deep fryer um, that things get fried in a lot. So I'm just gonna just gonna put the deep fryer on. So that's uh, that's heating up. And, um, and, and yes, so, um, some mocktails. Um, one of the irritating things about, oh god, I'm covered in cat hair. Fucking shit falls. Um, so, what, what have we, let me just, give me, so, so, some glasses. So these are, this is, um, this is my royal commemorative Princess Diana married Prince Charles commemorative glass and um, I find it very good to have a mis mismatch set. This is a little some type of sherry glass maybe. Um, this is a type of kind of champagne float. And then we've just got um, Spongebob Squarepants, yeah, who lives under the sea and Krabby Patties and so on and, um, and then some big glasses for when you've got. So um, I thought I'd start with something simple, which basically um, is uh, diabetic VitaFresh, because diabetics aren't allowed sugar. So pretty much anything that is diabetic is um, not gonna have sugar in it. So this is VitaFresh, which I quite like. It's sweet maple orange. It claims to have um, calcium and vitamin C in it, so that's good. So pretty much what you wanna do here is um, go ahead and take out the sachet. Um, I'm just gonna need a, I'm gonna need some spoons to mix some things with. Just get, just get the wooden spoon. And then go ahead and get your 1960s cut glass mug. So here's the trick with these little things. What you wanna do is just half fill the jug with water. <laughs> and then put, put directly into the water your um, sachet mix. There we go, and this is the trick. While it's still half full, you can give it a really good stir, and you don't have to worry about it slopping over the top. So just give it a good stir, 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 and then we add a little bit, we top it up with water. And there we go, that's a low carb orange cordial that I really, um, I really enjoy. I'm just gonna check the deep fryer is in fact warming up. Yep, no, that's good. So there's your cordial. Um, so once again, if you're going to do this, you really want to go to Schaefer Street and not Thornden New World because I discovered that Thornden New World is sadly lacking, sadly lacking, um, yeah, in the department of the low carbonist. So here's some of the other things I've got. Um, you can get, actually I'll just grab them all out. Might be the most efficient, efficient way to do it. Okay, so this is Barker and Hall's Lemon and Barley um, uh, Fruit Syrup. That's very good, it's low carb. Um, this has got old Schweppes um, uh, Diet Tonic Water. Now this contains quinine, and um, <clears throat> quinine's an anti-malarial agent, so I won't be getting malaria if I have my tonic water. And here is just some dirty old budget diet lemonade. So um, I think probably the first thing, this is a bit of a little kiddies drink. Um, basically it's um, <laughs> half, half your cordial that you've made up before, Right, and then um, basically half, oh, oh, it's the drink that knows its own name. Um, and then half diet lemonade. And then we go, that's a lovely, 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 oh, it's got a bit of a, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, it's got a bit of a fizz. That's a lovely summer, summer drink. Now, um, I, don't, I haven't put ice in them because at this time of year in Wellington, it's, it's actually cold enough, there's, there's really no need. 
Um, and uh, what I find is very good is to have the straws are fun. And because if you have a straw, you might muck up your lipstick. So let's just get, get into it. An orange straw for an orange stroke. And that's great. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get right into that. Mmm. Mmm, that's some that's delicious. That's some good stuff. Okay, so what else have we got here? Now the next thing I'm gonna make is I call this my marmalade drink. It's a bit of a one of the things about um, um not drinking is that it's really easy to drink fizzy drinks too fast because it's just kind of sugary and there's no hand break. You can just drink it all down. So what I like to do is have a bit of a grown-up flavour, a bit of bitterness in my drinks. So this one I call my marmalade drink and I'm going to make this in um, the Royal Wedding Commemorative Cup. So basically it's just a little splash of low-cal uh, Buckingham Hall um, lemon and barley cordial and then did I say that I call it my marmalade drink? I call this my marmalade drink and then, oh, psh, oh, the drink that knows its own name. And then basically the rest of the way with um, tonic water. And there we go. And there's a cheeky little snifter. And I call this my marmalade drink. I'll just give that one a go as well. Mmm, mmm. And it's, there's, a little, there's a little bitterness from the, um, from the tonic water and a little sourness. From the lemon and barley, so it's very, it's a very dry, non-alcoholic drink. It's great, and the good thing about this is, this is kind of my go-to drink when everyone else is having gin and tonics because I'm not allowed gin and tonic anymore. Not after the nineties. No, 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 no. Not after. Hi, my name's Laquisha, and I'm a recovering drug addict. No, just soft drinks from me from now on. And so that's, mm, that is um uh, delicious. Now I thought. As well, I might do some some spe a special kind of a uh, you know it's a meal in a glass. So what I've got here is I've got some. Oh, honestly, it's so frosted up. The deep freeze. Schaefer's Schaefer's New World. If you're listening, you need to do something about how frosted up your things get. So this is Zilch ice cream. It's um, got really not very much carbohydrates in it at all. Actually, it's low fat as well, but a fat fat's my friend. I don't care about that. So what I'm going to do is actually make an old-fashioned spider with this. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the zilch open. There we go. Get, get a nice big, big fat glass like this. A couple of scoops of the oh, zilch. Just put that right, right in there. And, um, and then what we're going to do is um, just pour pour the lemonade over top of it, and we'll have a we'll have a spider. You know, this is kids love this stuff. Although kids possibly shouldn't be on low carb diets, but big queens like myself, I see when it fizzes up. Oh, isn't that exciting? Look at that! Wow, there we go. It's a low carb spider. That's super fun. All that fizzy frothiness in it. So um, so that's lots of fun. I actually um, mummy gonna have a little sip of this as well. Mmm, mmm, -mm. that's some that's a good business. So there we go. There's my kind of a three low carb mocktail option. I've got my marmalade drink, which is our diet tonic and Barkersham Hall low cal light lemon and barley. We've got my spider, which is the zilch um faux ice cream um, and the diet lemonade and then finally we've got I guess this is a shandy really it's it's half it's half diabetic sachet sweet navel orange juice and half um, diet lemonade mm. Mm -mm. that is that is some delicious goodness so let's get on to um, deep frying the camembert so what we're going to need for the camembert is the camembert, and I got this one earlier. I'm just actually going to have to just oh Lord Jesus! I'm just going to have to get him be, get him behind you there, and get um some eggs, and I'm going to need what else am I going to need? I'm going to need some ground almond, and I've got some here, so that's great. I'm going to need probably a couple of bowls, some little bowls here, and some chopsticks. <clears throat> and the reason for the chopsticks, oh, and a knife. Um, Knife and knife, and the reason for the chopsticks will become uh, sorry, boobs, boobs, 
boobs show up. Cameron's gone to sleep. Hi Tess, hello Jack. Hi everyone. <laughs> Yay! See, this is much better than TV. This is local content made here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. I'm not, I don't have to go for no stupid fucking arts grant from Creative New Zealand and get told no to because they only back a winner. I don't need no Mur Murdoch Media Empire money. I don't need to sell no cocaine to no executives and television company. Like, you know that happens. Uh, you can just come here and watch me make some food. So what we're doing is we're making um, some deep fried cannon beer right now. So it's, um, maybe I might just, well, I'm going to adjust the camera down a little bit so you can see, see the, see the thing, thing a little bit better. Uh, I am the real house, the real house of, there we go, so we can, you know what, I'm not going to do that, I'm not, I can't frame myself, you'll just have to use the power of your imagination. So, deep fried camembert, I've got my chopping board here, I've got my camembert here, now this isn't best, am I, is my head cut off the top of the frame? Oh Lord Jesus, I would give my, I would give both boobs for a camera operator. There we go, the beehives and frame, good. Camembert, so it's not the best camembert, but you're going to deep fry it, so it's going to be delicious anyway. So what, we, what, what you want to do is um, crack into the camembert. So I've left this, I, I went, went to the shop about 5 o'clock, this has been at room temperature um, since then. Um, just get the camembert out, oh, oh, oh I love, I love me some fungus looking cheese. Let's just get the gum out of her mouth. Um, and so what we're going to do is just cut the camembert into um, eight pieces. So we're going to cut it into half, half again, and then into half again. Oh, and then you get these little wedges like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay, that's actually good enough for me to do a product endorsement. Oh, what do I do with it? Why do I do the wrapper? No, I don't know what it is. It's delicious. I'm going to cut that in half again, uh, half again. So now what we want to do is um, crumb the camembert. So we've got some, we're basically going to dip it in egg and then dip it in the ground almonds. So this is actually a low carb recipe and we're using ground almonds because um, they're low carb. So I've got, got my bowl here. So I'm just going to break my egg in there like that. Oh. Oh gross. Oh that's a that's a bad egg. <laughs> that's disgusting. Oh fuck, you saw it here on live TV. Fucking gross. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Do I name and shame the egg company? Oh, oh, oh I feel all oh. oh oh okay, calm down but <laughs> Calm down, we'll try that again. I don't want to name and shame the egg company. Have we got a Best Buy date on them? It should be okay. All right, okay, we'll try this one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that was just a, a one-off bad, bad egg situation. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've got a sniff it, is it okay? Oh, you know, that's fine. Oh, there's little bits of eggshell on it. Oh, I didn't do a very good job of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start again. Starting again. <laughs> Rinse the bowl out. <clears throat> get an egg. Crack the egg open. Come on, come on, eggy. There we go. Give it a sniff because now I'm paranoid. I think it's okay. Uh, anyway. It's going to be deep fried, right? Nothing can survive the power of that. So I'm just going to use the chopsticks to whisk this up. So the reason for the chopsticks actually, um, is that I've discovered that they're actually quite, apart from being quite the most sensible things to eat food with, they're quite the best thing for crumbing because you don't get, you don't get the crumb all over your, you don't get the crumb all over your hands if you do it this way. So this is um, just some ground almonds. Um, you can just buy this in the baking section of the supermarket. Let me just... Uh, Get that, get that op open, open! See, why doesn't this kind of thing happen to Alison Coles? A bad egg. Oh, I feel... Oh. 
I feel humiliated. So basically, and this is why the chopsticks are great, you just drop, put that in your eggy mixture, cover your, cover the cheese, cheesy cheese cheese and eggy wiggy wiggy, and then you just put it in the crumb, and see, it's great. Look, I'm not getting crumb and egg all over my hands. They are a precision tool of cooking. They are just wonderful. So I'll just actually just do a couple of pieces because um, otherwise we're going to be here all night and we've got more records to play and more quality time to spend together, darlings. So just egg, 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 and then into, into, the, into the crumb and make sure that's, I'm just going to give it a bit of a, bit of a shake, make sure that's crumbed. So um, because you want actually an especially thick coating um, so that the cheese doesn't melt out of the oil, what I'm going to do is do it again. So back into the egg uh, and cover, cover that with the egg. And then into the almond meal, just shake that around until it's covered. There we go. So we've got our, got our um, thing, and I'll just do the same thing with the other piece. And into the almond meal, give that a shake. Shaky, shaky. Righty. So there we go. And so that's, I'm going to bring this up to the camera. That's kind of what they look like. So it's a big encrusted. Thing. So now I've got the oil heated up to 108. Oh, oh. It's, my, it's my dinner chicken wings. I didn't quite manage to eat them all. We'll just put those to one side. Um, we did chicken wings last week. So here's, a, here's my... I, I, I mainly just eat fried chicken actually. So what I'm going to do, I've got the basket here, is um, just get these little camembert and put them in the basket. So obviously... Um, I wasn't feeling like you'd be bored watching me do the other slices. So we're in the basket, we're just going to pop the deep fryer open. And we're just going to whack those in. There we go, just like that. So they're, um, they're going to sizzle away. And while they're sizzling, um, there are a couple of other, other little fun cocktail ideas I have. Now as you know, one of, one of my great culinary icons is Fanny Craddock. And now that woman was not afraid to use fucking food <laughs> Fucking food colouring, except she called it a vegetable dye. Let me tell you, Hansel's blue ain't vegetable dye. So we've got some blue food colouring here and some pink food colouring. And that's really super fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my um my gorgeous champagne flute and my little my little sherry looking thing. And I'm gonna put a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue. Oh, the stuff stains look like buggery. I'm actually terrified of it. Just a couple of drops of blue while that's frying. Oh great, okay, I've got blue all over, got blue all over my hands. It's like fucking Smurf Massacre. And a couple of drops of pink in the other glass. Just a couple of drops. And we're gonna go ahead and just pour, pour some lemonade on them. And that's it, that's very fun. Very fun. There's your blue drink, and there's your pink drink. And the best thing is they're low carb. Oh my god, there's like no carbs in them. That's great. <clears throat> Isn't that fun? So there's, there's your blue drink, it's a little bit sci-fi looking, with Romulan ale, and there's your pink drink. Mm. Chins up. So we're just going to check on our deep fryer because sounding pretty good. So I've got one of these. So if you do get a deep fry, it's a great investment. I'm just going to turn them, just turn them around a little bit, just to make sure that they're getting browned all over. And they're, um, so yeah, so that's fun. Isn't that fun? Do you guys want to smell oh, that's that egg? Oh, live television. <laughs> so I don't even know which drink to start on. Is it the kind of sci-fi blue. Mmm. Oh my god, you know what this is? Sapphire. No, wait a second. Sapphire and gay steel. If steel was gay. Mm. Yum. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. And I would say that was it done. I can see a little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese just breaking through the top of the crust. So, so they're done. So what I'm going to do is take them out of the deep fryer 
and put them over here just to drain for a little minute. And so the, the good thing about one of these is what you can do is just scoop out, scoop out any kind of yuckies that are in your oil. Just whack them, whack it off in the bottom of there. And it's just a whole lot easier. Oh, actually, yeah, see, this is the thing. A thing like this with uh, any, kind of, any kind of crumb actually really fails your oil because often the crumb, and every time, the crumb comes off a little bit of oil. So I'm just, just scooping out Scooping this out, I mean this is actually nothing to do, this is, this is more to do with the next time I fry some things. So we'll just, uh, give it a good scoop, there we go, whack it on the bottom, and I'm just going to go and get a little, um, just, just behind you, just grab a plate, and another set of chopsticks, because honestly they're just the best things, um, and so I can show you, oh shit. <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus, show you the finished result. There we go. So there we have two very delicious pieces of, um, of deep fried. Do you see this? Are you, do, can you smell the goodness? Oh, the password's come on. I hope it doesn't mean that. Oh, boobs. Sorry. Um, yeah, see? Yeah, it's the camembert. Delicious. So what I'm going to do is just cut. Maybe I'll just... um. Is that going to work if I just angle the camera down? No, that's totally not going to work. I have no idea how to do this. How to do this shot. <clears throat> I need... Mummy need help. Okay, what if I hold it up and I just cut into that? Oh, look. Look, look at that. Melting. Melting and steaming. Deep fried camembert. Do you see that? It's all... Melty oozy goodness. I'm going to torture you now and have some. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. So, that's deep fried camembert and an almond crumb, and it's low carb. So, if you're on the crazy kind of food plan that I'm on, you can eat this shit with impunity and pee on a stick and it'll turn purple. It's amazing. Um, and so now I have to decide which drink's going to escort me back into the lounge. You know what? <clears throat> it's going to be this one here. It's going to be the, the fizzy pop one. Might take a photo of this, actually. Yeah. Take them all. No, I'm totally going to take a photo. I'm going to take a photo of this and put it... Um, sorry. See, so, you know, if this was like... This is just like, but it wasn't my fantasy. There'd be, um, there'd be some kind of, uh, still, this is a the stills photographer person I've come across this stuff. Um, oh, so here we go, and there's our drinks. Oh, that spider's kind of deflated somewhat. Let's just give it, let's, let's just give everything a bit of a top up. So I'll just, just top that up. A bit of a fizz on it. Top that up. Top that up. Top that up. Now, talk amongst yourselves, I have to go and fetch my camera. Back in a sec. <clears throat> because basically with the advent of social media, it is crucial to um, document every, every moment of your life. I think that's quite a... I think that captures the, oh, come on. Captures the general deliciousness of the situation. There we go. I think that's worked. My friend was on my iPhone the other day and he was telling me how slow I was. So unfair, this was like state of the art. This was such a desirable item. Um, why is that all? Oh, there we go. No, that's a great. That's great. We can put that on the website later. Make people jealous that they went there. And then, um, and then also you, lovely viewers, will um, want to. There we go. Just have a little moment, moment to reflect on the delicious goodness of the delicious, delicious goodnesses. Isn't that fun? So come on, deep fried camembert. Put you on the laptop, and my drink with a straw. 
we are going to go back to the lounge, play some more music, <clears throat> and I'm going to jump on chat.